Okay, this video is going to show how to set up some animations in PowerPoint and then customize the order that these different events are going to occur and how they will run. So everything is going to be under our animation section. I want to add an animation. I'm just going to get it to fade in. It fades is sort of symbolized by green. I'm going to highlight actually all of them and I'm actually going to add fade in for everything. And let's all also do a fade, a fade out. Actually, no, we'll do a shape tween out. Okay, so we've got all these going in and going out. I've got two on that one, so let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got them working as events happening at the same time. What we're going to do is get each one to start after the previous. So if I run this, they all occur directly in order. So most of the time this is actually all you really need. But I'm actually going to add in some extra effects. So let's do some motion paths. So we're going to get it sort of curving around. I'm going to do that for each of these. Get to a loop. And then finally just a, oh, don't want it on that shape, I just want a straight line. Now, what we've noticed is we've got the order that everything's going to happen, but if I play this, I'm not sure if this is going to make much sense. They're all fading out, and then they will magic, well after that occurs, then they'll magically, oh, because at the moment, they're currently waiting on a click. So let's get them all to start after the previous. And what we notice here is now... Why is that one going down there? One, two, three. Fade out, fade out, fade out. And because our animation, the picture things have actually faded out, we can't even see our animations. So what we're going to do is move them into the order we want them to occur. So we drag them in, get them to move. Okay, and then it fades out. Okay, so I'm going to modify it. Now I want my, modify the oval so all the oval stuff actually happens. And then so the oval, it fades out, and then the other two pop in. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a bit of an advanced timeline on these other ones. What you can sort of notice is that there's a bit of a timeline coming on here. So if you right-click on these, you know, you might need to do the right-click show advanced timeline. So I can actually change the order and the actual length of each of these. So I can actually drag these down. move them. At the moment I can't drag this to the left because it is currently set to start after the previous. So I can just tell it to start with it and then I can sort of stretch that, move it around. Make even that event even longer and play around. In theory what this should be happening here is my rectangle should actually start fading out while it's actually running. So let's have a look and see if that actually occurs. So that rectangle, as you can see, it's still moving and then it starts fading out. So this is how we can do some advanced timelines. We can you know, customize things quite nicely and get some really cool effects. Try around, a little bit does take a bit of trial and error, but always remember effect options brings up with lots of other options whether you want it fading in, fading out, how long it's going to last, if you're going to repeat, because what you might also, can also do is quite useful, is get it to repeat until the end of the slide. Okay, so that concludes our video on basically timings and using the advanced timeline.